Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek of WebPianoTeacher.com. How you doing? We're going to learn how to play sixths and sevenths today, how to add those to your improvisations to spice up your playing a little bit. Let's take a listen to what I have written here for you to learn this. together to help us play some sixths and sevenths. I even put an octave in there as well, kind of help it out. Um, but you don't always just have to play full chords all the time, you know. You have three note chords and most of us play those all the time, but sometimes just a sixth will work. And even a seventh, if you play a seventh, like a D to a C, you hear that and go, oh that sounds, that kind of bites a little bit, it's dissonant. And yes it is, but usually a seventh will resolve. So they're very nice. Okay, so D, E to D is a seventh. Then we resolve it to a sixth, it's very nice. So sevenths are very useful. Uh, so we want to try to start using them in our playing. So if we start out here, C and A in the right hand, I'm just going to play with one and three. And you also don't always have to play sixth with one and five. A lot of us are just stuck in that pattern of always playing sixth. Sometimes you can use another finger. In fact, often you should try to use other fingers so that you can use the fifth finger on the C. Use a three, three finger there. One, two, three, four, then D and C with one and five. To B and D we resolve the sixth to one and four. Bum, 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 bum. Right here I have the C and A again. I kind of wrote up there your intervals and this sheet is on my Facebook for free I just have it there you can click on it and uh, pull it off so you can have it for yourself have a sheet to look at uh, so here we have a seventh a sixth a fifth and a fourth remember we measure intervals by distance by counting all the letters one two three four five six seven so D to C is a seventh D to B is a sixth D to A is a fifth D to G is a fourth bum, 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 bum. Okay, very effective. Uh, the left hand I just have A. Now, I was really jazzing it up, wasn't I? I was really doing that mostly in the left hand. You don't have to do that to start with. You can just play, you know, octaves. Kind of put your thumb in there, your left hand in between. All right, we'll help out. But anyway, this first line, A. G in there on the left hand to move me into the next line there so this one starts out the same sixth using my third finger seven six now here I do another seven six but you gotta hop up well, let me give you a tip for hopping up like that you don't want to play this and then go okay let me see where's an A where's a G there's no time to do that you just have to go for it. After you play the D and the B, just lift your hand up and go for it. Once you get in the habit of doing that, just going for it, you'll be a lot more accurate than you think you will be after you get in the habit of doing that. Just, just know where it is and go right there, one, five. You'll, you'll hit it, you'll miss it a bunch of times and split the notes until you finally can land that. Okay, just watch your thumb land the A and measure the seventh. And I'm going five four. Don't feel like you gotta go five five. Go five four. If you use those other fingers when you're doing intervals, then you can feel around a lot better and you're not always guessing where you are. It just it just helps. Alright, so in the left hand here, G, F. Now this is cool. Now here's an example where the dissonance of a seventh really helps. If I just sit out the piano and went, you go, oh, what is that? That's awful. Well, it helps in the middle of a song if I'm trying to have di have tension. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so E octave, uh, that's an eighth. Did you know an octave was an eighth? Oct, octopus, uh, octagon. <laughs> so eighth, and then a seventh is, is made by moving that thumb up back and forth. Eighth, seventh, octave, seventh, octave, seventh, octave. Okay, 
the left hand is just on an E octave. And then the next part I just uh, wrote what I did the first line. You can use pedal and slow down there if you want to be musical. If you're just using this for an exercise to help your seventh and sixth and intervals, then you know you don't have to. But... And then the last, at the last here, oh, it doesn't scroll up enough. Uh, well, you can kind of see that, I think. A on the bass, and the right hand goes. I bet if I zoomed it in. No, it doesn't help. Um, anyway, it's an A on the bass there, and the right hand goes. And I'm pedaling that, making it smooth. Now, watch what I do. I'm using 2 5 on the EC. I went up 2, I went up high on EC with 2 5. And then DB with 1, 4, AC with 1, 3, BG with 1, 2, and then 1, 3. Because that's smoother and it's easier for me to feel where I am than to use 1, 5 on everything. I want to smooth and I end that way. So one more time all the th way through. 1, a 2, a 1, 2, ready, go. Enjoyed that? Start using sixths and sevenths and intervals in your playing. You don't always have to have just full chords, three, four note chords. You can also play up high, make it very pretty. I know I was going to end the video, but. around experiment hope you guys enjoyed that lesson make sure you get the sheet if you want it I post it on my Facebook page for free just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com talk to you guys later